Hi guys, it's Tristan from World English School and today I'm at a special place near Tokyo Bay. This is one of my favorite stores and it's right behind me as you can see. It's called Eco Town. It's got a lot of stores in it actually. It's got Hard Off, Book Off, and Home Off. And these are some of my favorite places. And um, today I want to read a book for you about nature. It's called First Picture Nature. So. I'm gonna walk over here with you and um, I'm gonna sit right here and I'm gonna read it to you. So, see you soon. First picture, nature. And this is an Usborne book. And I like this book because it's padded. I really like that. It's got insects all over here. This looks like summer or spring. And it's fall here now. You know what, I'm gonna move over here with you. I was sitting on this bench here, but I want to move over here into a little bit of sunlight so we can see it in the sunlight in the country. And look at all these things here. Let's, let's just look at a few of them, not everything. Got a forest up here, a lake here, got some sheep over here, an angler, this is a fisherman, got a horse over here, and a rider, got hikers, and a dog and a fox, and a gate. There's a lot of stuff here. You have countryside in your, uh, in your country? I think a lot of countries have countryside, but not all countryside looks like this, does it? Trees and leaves. Look, we're looking at all different kinds of, uh, all different types of the, parts of the tree. The roots, the trunk, the branch, the leaf. And here it is in different seasons. Some trees lose all of their leaves in the fall. Spring, summer, fall. That's why it's called fall, right? Because the leaves fall in winter and the, tree, the trees are bare. But not all trees lose their leaves, do they? Some trees don't. Interesting. Each kind of tree has different leaves. Here are some to look for. And then you can see different kinds of leaves. Collect different kinds of leaves, roll out a big circle of modeling dough, and press each leaf into the dough and peel it. And then you can make a print of the leaf, just like this. Isn't that cool? I've never done that before, have you? Bugs and slugs. Eww. Oh, cool. I like some of these bugs, though. Slugs are kind of gross. Do you have any slugs around where you live? Bugs and slugs. Look, there's a fly. It looks like a real fly. Here's some caterpillars, a ladybug. Caterpillars and butterflies. A caterpillar turns into a butterfly. And uh, what it does is it hangs upside down and it creates a hard skin called a pupa. Well, it becomes a pupa and it, and it looks like that. And that's its cocoon. And then it becomes a butterfly like that. Isn't that cool? There's a slug. There's all different kinds of slugs. This is a black one. Here's a grasshopper down here. And a centipede. Flowers. Oh, wow. Butterflies and bees visit flowers to drink a sweet juice called nectar. They drink from the flower. They bring it back to their, to their homes, don't they? Butterflies fly around with it, and bees bring it back to their hives. Look at all these different flowers. Clover, pansy, poppy. That was in The Wizard of Oz, wasn't it? Tulip. And then this is showing how a seed grows. Most flowers come out in spring or summer. You won't see all these together in real life. That's true, all of these flowers together. You don't see them together. They're different, uh, different varieties. At the pond, look at this. Tell me, like, well, you can't tell me, but can you think about which, birds you've, which bird you've seen? Have you seen a heron? How about this? It's a swan. Swan. How about a frog? That's not a bird, but have you seen that before? How about baby ducks, ducklings? Have you seen fish in a pond before? And look, frog spawn. That's the, before it becomes tadpoles. Tadpoles over here. I've seen frog spawn before, have you? It's a kind of a weird thing to look at. It's like, um, like little eyeballs, isn't it? it looks like birds. This bird is an owl. Have you seen an owl before? I've only seen one 
once or twice, I think. I saw one in Japan, actually. They're cool to see. Birds build nests from grass, twigs, and mud to keep their eggs safe. When the nest is finished, the mother bird lays some eggs, and birds sit on the eggs until baby birds hatch out of them. You can put nuts in a bag like that, and then uh, birds will eat from it. You ever, have you ever had a bird feeder before? Look at the mother bird giving a worm. Under the sea, a whale, jellyfish, turtle, shark, coral, starfish, and dolphin. Over here we got an octopus, a seahorse, eel, seaweed, and fish. Look at the little girl is looking into the tide pool. What's in the tide pool? Shells, sand, crab, and pebbles on the seashore. There's so much stuff in the ocean. The ocean is an amazing um, biological uh, container, isn't it? <laughs> There's all sorts of things in the, in the ocean. Seasons. You know the seasons, don't you? Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Not all countries have all four seasons. I lived in a tropical country and we only had the rainy season and the dry season. <laughs> so not all countries have all four seasons. It depends on where you live. Weather. Snow. There's a snowflake. Lightning. Have you had lightning in your country? Snow. Oh, I'm sorry. Sun. That's snow. This is sun. This is rain. Wind. Oh wow, she's losing her hat. And rainbow. How was a rainbow created? And that's a nice little book, isn't it? That's an, a book called First Picture Nature by Usborne. And it's got some little bunny rabbits there. And that was in that was a 2007 book by Usborne Publishing. I like that. So let's leave the book there. But I'll bring it with me. And we can walk over here and look at the sunset. It's almost sunset. I hope this isn't too bright for you. Wow. Is it too bright? I can't see. I'm gonna use my book to cover my eyes. <laughs> Look at that sunshine, wow, it's beautiful. This is, uh, we're looking toward Tokyo Bay right now, looking south, and yeah, I'm gonna follow the coast going this way, going west, and I'm gonna get home along the coast. And look at the little house here. Look at all the bushes. This is fall, isn't it? So, actually this tree never changes color, really. And the leaves are still on this plant, aren't they? So we're seeing some changes, but not too many. For example, this one here also has its leaves. And I don't see any trees with no leaves here. Although the grass is a little bit dry. Yeah, interesting, huh? And this is the store I went to today. I love that store. And I got a new book. So anyway, I'll turn the... Uh, Turn the camera back around on me and I'll say goodbye and thank you for watching me read First Picture Nature by Usborne Publishing and hope you can go see some nature yourself. I got to see some today and uh, it's good for the good for the mind isn't it? So let's go out and see some nature and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.